Hi everybody, it's me, Sarah Lickfold, Executive Director here at Transitions, coming to you from the lovely outdoors, <laughs> and just wanted to come and share with you about uh, results from Give Big, which was earlier this uh, month in May. And we had a really great turnout of donors, so thank you to everyone who donated, and thank you to our sponsor, uh, our matching gift sponsor, uh, Providence, and we also had an anonymous donor that gave as a matching gift. So we really appreciate that. With all our efforts combined, we were able to raise over $27,000. So that is so huge. Our golf outing rarely made that much after expenses, but this is a really quick, kind of easy, um, not a huge amount of time like a golf tournament event in order to raise some funds for our program. So thank you so much. Uh, I wanted to let everybody know that uh, Transitions is doing a training week in June. It's June 5th through the 9th. It's really something we've never done before. I don't know if we'll do it again, we'll see, but um, we're doing half days all week. So you'll see some of our programs shut down that would normally be open at those times, including Women's Hearth, New Leaf, and Educare. Um, just wanted to let folks know that that is happening the week of June 5th through the 9th, so those programs won't be open eight to noon on those days. Um, wanted to encourage folks, uh, give you a little hint. You'll see stuff in our newsletter about legacy giving. It's, um, some people also call it planned giving. It's just about giving gifts and making sure you have some of those, um, some of your resources dedicated to uh, the organizations and the causes you care about in your will, or in afterlife planning. So it's just something to think about. If you have questions about that, you can reach out to Transitions. Uh, if we're one of those uh, passions that you wanna see funded, continually funded after your passing or that of a loved one. June is Pride Month and we just wanna say we love you to all of our folks who are LGBTQ plus and hope that we will join you in celebrating this month. So be sure to do something this month in celebration of Pride Month and in support of our LGBTQ plus friends. Um, that's all I got for you today. So I hope everybody has a wonderful month and I'll see you next time.